why barriers succeed the factors which influence listening barriers to succeed significantly are the gap between listening speed and speaking speed it could be the reason if the speaking speed is very slow the speaking speed is very high then the listening speed also varies passive activity listening is a passive activity you have to do a lot of concentration and it involves the mind and mind is something which is very difficult to control adjustment as per the speaker is required unless the first few minutes are taken to adjust the speech or the delivery being made with the audience and the speaker um, the audience will have to adjust to the speaker only then effective listening can happen supportive listening this is a good way or an improved way of listening where we empathize with the speaker and hence emotionally we connect and hence the listening process becomes very effective what are the various techniques for listening careful listening attentive listening and skimming careful listening could be whatever is being said being noted very carefully attentive listening when we want to learn something from a person skimming the general speech so we just listen to basic facts concentration and thinking how to improve concentration and thinking because it will improve listening anticipation whatever is being said i anticipate what is coming next since my brain is free that time i can and hence it leads to and if that is also being said it reinforces whatever you are going to listen focus focus on what is being said review review in your mind whatever you have heard so that it falls in line with your chain of thoughts symbols slash meaning manipulation whenever symbols are used or you interpret the same in the form of symbols so that your understanding improves taking notes there are very many who believe that instead of noting it in our mind and brain we might as well take down notes so that we can have a recall later concentrate on contents identify the purpose why i'm listening and for and what am i listening for listen for sign posts those important facts figures points which will be critical as far as the topic is concerned understand and not evaluate the objective of listening should be very clear if the objective is to evaluate then it's different but if the objective is to understand then we must only understand and not evaluate the person make points you can ask for new uh, points or you make your points and ask later hence active listening involves lot more than just lending an ear lending the ear it requires the mind where the words gets processed and it becomes understanding emotions because the non verbal cues are best understood when this connect happens and hence you can see the you know feel the feelings by making contact and the body actions and impact all together gives you a perfect understanding of what is being said and hence empathetic active listening happens what are the physical and psychological settings required for active listening personal physical conditions if we have a hearing problem then it would be difficult to listen and hence physical conditions have to be in favor in favor of listening psychological conditions if we are stressed out or if we have had some problems then it would be difficult to concentrate and hence listen carefully external conditions disturbances of all kinds noise poor lighting and various disturbances that one can think of retention listening listening and retaining which is what uh, whenever we are in class we would be doing 
all the methods that were relevant for reading skills are relevant here too. Use memory aids, create a picture so that you can remember and you know the listening becomes effective. Setting priorities, saying what is it that I want to listen and keep with me. Thinking, recalling, reinforcing and developing resolve. I must listen to these things and keep it in my mind. Determination. Effective listening. For improving listening skill, skills, the listener must keep quiet while listening. You can never listen while you are talking. When a person talks, first we must listen. If we also talk, then certainly the message is not being heard. Focus on what the speaker says rather than on his looks. The content of the delivery matters not the physical attributes. Listen first and take notes later. If we take note while listening, we might miss out on some things because multitasking might lead to some you know, omissions. Look for the central theme and main ideas. If the purpose of the speech is clear and we know what we are looking for, then this is easy. Let the speaker finish whatever he has to say without interrupting him. If his thought process is disturbed, then we may not be, may not be effective whatever he is saying and hence we may not be listening to what we want to listen. Control and minimize distractions. Be friendly towards the speaker. The connect is important. Observe the non-verbal signals body movements, facial expressions and gestures to get the total message. The total message is not verbose. Total message is verbal plus non-verbal, which we have already discussed in our previous chapters. Try to look into the eyes of the speaker. You can read a lot, comprehend a lot, listen a lot. Try to relate the speaker's message with the personal experience. Whenever we do that, then the Understanding becomes perfect and hence you will retain whatever you have heard because you have started connecting with previous experiences. The following are critical thinking skills useful for effective listening. First, perceiving. Perceiving whatever is being said. Arranging. While you are hearing a lot, you are putting it in sequence for you to retain reasoning why this is being said and whenever we get an answer for the why, the understanding becomes a lot clearer. Inferring, hence concluding, inquiring. If it is not in sequence and if there is a gap, I inquire and find out why. Improving listening skills, 10 commandments. Stop talking, what we are always good at. Put the speaker at ease. In that case, he would speak well, clearly, and he will be at ease, and that makes comprehension also simpler for all of us. Show the speaker that you want to listen. So this communication is not a one-way process. It's a two-way process where you say, I listen. Remove distractions of any kind, physical or otherwise. Empathize with the speaker. Tell him and show him that you're listening. So he'll also be enthused to deliver better. Be patient. We may have a question, we may have a doubt, but let's wait for a logical break. Hold your temper. Some things may not be to our taste, but our emotions need to be controlled. Go easy on argument and criticism. Don't be overbearing there. Ask questions. Because questions always clarify things and hence understanding becomes clearer and Hence, you also listen well because you know there is somebody else also listening to you. Stop talking. We began with stop talking and we end with stop talking. So today we have seen how important listening skills is as far as communication is concerned and what relevance it has to the business environment. Listening skill development is a slow and a difficult process and will need 
conscious effort as far as improvement is concerned. Thank you.